This page was created to teach black history. Unfortunately, the American educational system was designed to exclude our real historical account, so we are here to dismantle it. It's time to enlighten those of us who have been kept in the dark. I, too, was a black man who didn't know enough about our own history, so I began to dig deeper and do my own research. I want people of all races and cultures to join together to learn our history as one. Here, I will share all of my findings. Please share and support Teaching Black History. The Story of Josiah Uncle Tom Henson Josiah Henson was born on June 15, 1789, on a farm near Port Tobacco, Charles County, Maryland. When he was a young boy, his father was punished for standing up to a slave owner, for which he received 100 lashes. His right ear was nailed to the whipping post and then cut off. His father was later sold to someone in Alabama. Following his family's master's death, young Josiah was separated from his mother and siblings. His mother pleaded with her new owner, Isaac Riley, and Riley agreed to buy back Henson so she could at least have her youngest child with her on the condition that he would work in the fields. Riley would not regret his decision, eventually becoming the supervisor of his master's farm. In 1825, Mr. Riley fell into economic hardships and was sued by a brother-in-law. Desperate, he begged Henson with tears in his eyes to promise to help him, and he agreed. Mr. Riley then told him that he needed to take his 18 slaves to his brothers in Kentucky by foot. They arrived in Davies County, Kentucky, in April 1825. In September 1828, Henson returned to Maryland in an attempt to buy his freedom from Isaac Riley. He tried to buy his freedom by giving his master $350, which he had saved up, promising a further $100. Originally, Henson only needed to pay the extra $100 by note Mr. Riley, however, added on extra zero to the paper and changed the fee to $1,000. Cheated of his money, Henson returned to Kentucky and then escaped to Kent County, Upper Canada, in 1830 after learning that he might be sold again. Canada had become a refuge for slaves who had escaped from the United States after 1793 when Lieutenant Governor John Graves passed an act to prevent the further introduction of slaves and limit the term of contracts for servitude within this providence. The legislation did not immediately end slavery in the colony, but it did prevent the importation of slaves. As a result, any U.S. slave who set foot in what would eventually become Ontario was free. Josiah Henson first worked on farms near Fort Erie, then moving with friends to Colchester in 1834 to set up a black settlement on rented land. Through contracts and financial assistance there, he was able to purchase 200 acres in Don Township in neighboring Kent County. To realize his vision of a self-sufficient community the Don Settlement eventually reached a population of 500 at its heights. Exporting black walnut lumber to the United States and Britain, Hinton purchased an additional 200 acres next to the settlement where his family lived. Hinton also became an active Methodist preacher and spoke on routes between Tennessee and Ontario. He also served in the Canadian Army as a military officer, having led a black militia unit in the Canadian Rebellion of 1837. In 1838, Henson and the militia successfully captured a rebel ship, 
cutting off their supply lines to the southwestern Upper Canada. Though many residents of the Don settlement returned to the United States after slavery was abolished, Henson and his wife continued to live in the Don for the rest of their lives. Josiah Henson is the first black man to be featured on a Canadian stamp. He was also recognized by the Historical Sites and Monuments Board of Canada in 1999 as a National Historic Person. A federal plaque to him is located in the Henson Family Cemetery next to Uncle Tom's Cabin Historic Site. He died on May 5th, 1883.